So I'm going to tell a story <laughs> that's coming out in my book, um, Wealth Through Property, which has been in draft for a couple of years. It's finally coming out for real hard copy in the next month. Um, if you want to copy that, by the way, just comment below and I'll, I'll do it. But it's, this story is called When Harry Met Fluffy. And uh, it's quite an interesting story. But anyway, once upon a time, when I was back in the army, I was uh, working with this guy who's from the British Army. And Harry was his name. And Harry was telling me a story. We're talking about investing and things like that and, you know, what our wealth goals were and all that sort of stuff. And Harry said to me, oh, I've got to tell you a story. So he tells a story about this guy called Fluffy. So Harry was in the transport um, of the British Army and he was attached to a cavalry unit for six months. Now, in the British Army, the cavalry are uh, very fine traditions and um, actually to be an officer in the cavalry, you have to... Um, prove that you have a certain amount of independent income because they like to live the high life and it's a very old school kind of uh, thing. And in fact, a lot of the landed families in the UK um, who've got wealth in the family from many generations, the kids don't actually have to work. So what they do is they put their kids, they, when they turn 18, they put them in the army to be officers in the cavalry and then that gives them the grounding as, as young men and then they pull them out later and they go and do other things. But anyway, he was telling me he got attached to this cavalry regiment and he was assigned a host officer. And the host officer introduced himself as Fluffy. Now, now um, they never really got the real name of this guy, but that was his, obviously his nickname. So Fluffy said to Harry, Harry, in the transport mess, what's your monthly mess bill? Now, in the army, you live in a mess and um, you get a, accommodated and fed and there's a bill at the end of the month to pay. Now, Harry said, oh, I've got 300 pounds. So he goes, very well. So the first month he's there, and then he gets his mess bill, and it's for exactly 300 pounds. And Harry says, yes, that's odd, but pays his bill and thinks nothing more of it. The next month, they've had a whole heap of parties with the finest French champagne and caviar, and, you know, and he's, Harry's telling me that he wasn't looking forward to getting his mess bill. It was, it was gonna be astronomical. And he gets his bill again, and it's exactly 300 pounds. So Harry's a bit confused. So he goes to the mess manager, who's one of the enlisted soldiers, and says, uh, there must be a mistake. My mess bill is the same, but I know that I've spent much, much more this month. And he said, no, 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 sir. Uh, Mr. Fluffy has said that your mess bill is to be capped at 300 pounds. And Harry said, well, well, how's that supposed to work? And he said, well, he said, I wouldn't worry about it. Mr. Fluffy's got plenty of money. He said, no, 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 no. I insist I need to, and he goes, look, Mr. Fluffy's got plenty of money, so I, I, and he'll be offended if you don't take his hospitality. So I suggest you just let it be. And then he then found out a few stories about Mr. Fluffy. For example, uh, when Mr. Fluffy joined the regiment, his grandmother rang the mess and said, please send all of Fluffy's bills to me because I manage the family estate, would you believe? And, um, and so Fluffy doesn't even manage the bills, the grandma does it for him. And then the next thing um, he found out was that from day one, it was a family tradition and, and several generations of this family had served in this same regiment. And it was a tradition on day one that when you had to put down, when you joined the army and you had to put down your bank account to receive your pay, that rather than take that money personally, they would pay it to the Soldiers Relief Fund, which is a fund set up for soldiers who get into trouble and need help. So from day one, he paid his entire wage to the Soldiers Relief Fund, and this was a family tradition to do it. So it was quite interesting, and you know, Fluffy came from one of these old money families where, as a family, they had done the right thing. They had accumulated assets, real assets, real estate, and they'd handed that real estate down from generation to generation, and the fam the, their descendants had been able to live off the rents brought in from that real estate. And this is the thing that people in Australia perhaps don't understand because most of us come from convict stock, right? So we're low to middle, middle class and we don't have these principles in our families. But when I heard that story, I thought to myself, you know what, my father was an army officer, my mother was a medical scientist. They're very successful people, but where's my bloody inheritance? <laughs> you know, where's, where's my family trust that's you know, paying for, for, for me to go and have a good time? Why aren't I in that financial situation? Why haven't previous generations done that, um, been that thoughtful and that considerate. And it was at that moment that I decided that I was gonna make a difference and that generations that followed me were gonna be given an advantage. Now, I'm not gonna give them a handout, don't get me wrong, but I'd love to set up, and I will leave a trust that pays for the education 
of all of my descendants so that they can go to the best schools and go to university and have their hex fees paid for. You know, that's a legacy. I'm going to leave a trust that donates money to charities so those charities have a secured long-term income and can keep going. So that's the story of when Harry met Fluffy and when I heard that story it made a big difference in my life. I hope it makes a difference in your life too. Cheers. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that. If you think someone else could benefit from that, make sure you share it with them. We'd really be grateful if you did that. And if you want to get into property investing, if you're serious about it, just send us a message. Let's have a strategy session. Let's go through it. We have clients all over Australia, in fact, all over the world. And we talk to our clients either in person or via Skype. Really easy to do. So don't hesitate. Get in there. It's only $297 for a strategy session. And it's 100% guaranteed refundable if at the end of it you didn't feel it was worth your while. Cheers.